Hey guys, it's Rebecca from Sugar and Soul, and I can't believe that Christmas is just two days away. How many of you, like me, are a little behind on your holiday gift giving? Today, I'm teaming up with Dr. Pepper Snapple Group and Walmart to bring you a super simple and fun holiday gift idea. This is an especially great gift for people like the mailman, your neighbors, and teachers. So, we're going to um, be using Dr. Pepper Snapple products. So, right now, these two liter bottles of soda are on sale for a dollar at Walmart. And I actually stocked up and I bought 10 for two reasons, all right? So, whenever I text my mother on Christmas and ask her, hey, what can I bring? It's always soda. I swear, there's never anything to drink in that house. And soda's always the answer. So, I always leave several bottles in the pantry so on our way out the door, we can grab a few and bring them when we go. The other reason is because right now there is a deal going on at Walmart where if you buy 10 bottles, you get a $5 voodoo credit. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm all about free movies and entertainment. So, we're going to be putting together little gift sets. Merry movie night gift sets, actually. So we're going to give our, you know, neighbors, friends, a bottle of soda, and you just pick whichever one you want. They have a tons of different varieties. Then I found these little containers at Walmart and we're going to be making a um, Christmas cake popcorn mix. And we're going to be packaging it up in here, um, adding a little Walmart gift card and then putting it all together and it's going to make a great gift. So let's get on to that Christmas cake popcorn mix that I talked about. It's a super simple recipe, no bake and one that's really great for the kids to make too. So let's get started on that. Um, you're going to start with a kettle corn. You can either buy it um, pre-popped and ready to go in any brand bag as long as it's a sweet pop, uh, kettle corn. Then, or you can buy bags to pop yourself. Just make sure that once you pop them, you let them cool down completely because you don't want hot popcorn to make this a recipe. You want it to be completely room temp. All right? So from there, we're going to take a half cup of white cake mix. It can be any brand you want. You just need a half cup. And then we're going to pour it in over about 12 cups of popcorn and, you know, just mix it up. The popcorn is just sticky enough that that cake mix is going to dust uh, coat it and it's going to give just a nice sweet flavor that's going to be really festive and fun in the end. Um, makes it more of a dessert popcorn than a salty treat. All right, so that's pretty well mixed. From there, we're gonna add in some melted white chocolate. I mean, I know some people that aren't crazy about white chocolate, and you can definitely do a regular chocolate if you want, but I love white chocolate. I think it's just got a great sweetness, um, especially if you're doing like a cake um, flavored um, treat. And I don't know, white chocolate to me is just, it's very Christmassy even though obviously I use it year-round, but you can never go wrong in my opinion. So let's scrape all that in there, then we're going to stir it up. And it's going to get a little gooey, that's all right, we like gooey, gooey is totally fine. So just mix it up good, you want a nice even coating over your popcorn. All right, and oops, see, make sure you have a really big bowl because otherwise things just go everywhere. All right, so we're getting there. Once, once we're done with this, uh, mixing up this popcorn, we are going to pour it into a hotel pan. And basically a hotel pan just means it's a big pan with a little lip, um, basically to catch that popcorn from going all over the place like I'm currently doing. All right, so I think we're good. We've got a nice little mix in there. And we're gonna add in some sprinkles because seriously, who doesn't love sprinkles during the holidays? All right, we're just gonna load them up. Lots and lots of sprinkles. I chose festive flavors, but obviously you can pick whatever kind you want. Okay, so let's mix that up. And the nice thing about it is you can add as little or as much as you want, and you can just add some in. If you think it needs more, add more. No biggie, it's just popcorn. What I love about this recipe is it's so easy to customize um, and make for the holidays. So. I actually want more sprinkles. Surprise! You should, you should see my sprinkle shelf. It's a little ridiculous. All right, and then just some festive candies, whatever kind you're feeling like, but 
you know, adding a little extra chocolate, never hurt anyone. All right, so let's mix that all up good. So it's nice and evenly coated. All right, and then we are going to pour it out onto our pan. harden before packaging it up because otherwise we're going to have a mess and it's not going to be as cute and we like cute around Christmas time don't we? All right so now that my popcorn is all laid out and ready to go I'm going to add just a few more sprinkles onto the top give it that nice perfect finished look all right so sprinkle that on a lot of you want to get used to because let's face it who leaves a bottle with just a few candies left in it? All right, so let's let it sit for about, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. Let that chocolate be hardened, and we'll come back and we'll package it up to give it to friends. Our popcorn is finished setting, and let me tell you, it is delicious. Such an easy treat for the holidays. I've gone ahead and packaged it up and tied on a Walmart gift card and gift tag. Now, just grab your favorite two liter bottle of soda, hand it over to a neighbor so they can have a merry movie night of their own. Don't forget to save some of that Christmas cake popcorn mix for you and your family too. Make up some soda floats, head to the couch, and have a movie night right at home with your free Voodoo credit. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.